All right, thanks very much, Sam. I'm busy looking on the screen there, and it looks like I, I'm not even sure what we're spotting here. Is that, I don't even know if that's live visuals coming from us that we're seeing some of the some of the game that are, it is from us. My director just told us that that's some of the game that's uh, walking about here in the northwest where we're broadcasting from Amanzingwe. That is uh, that that's the 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 spot where we've set up our cameras. This is where the launch of Tourism Month is taking place today. And uh, as you know, it's something that the uh, the Department of Tourism always focuses on that we as South Africans must tour within our borders but then again I'm reading the Twitter account and it's the same old story and I and, and I've been doing this for many years now uh, on tourism day and talking about it in the run-up to tourism month South Africans complaining it's too expensive to travel within South Africa so we'll pose that question once again as we do every year to the tourism minister who is our guest here on morning live and it's always such a pleasure to have him minister how are you it's good to see you on morning live thank you Leanna nice to be here. Yes, it's September month again, uh, tourism month all over the world and in South Africa this year we want to focus on uh, domestic tourism and we're bringing back the short left campaign. So the theme now is nothing's more fun than a short left. Yeah. Uh, it was a very popular uh, program in the past campaign and we're back with short left. Excellent. I mean, short left, it disappeared for a while. Why reignite it? What made you think that this is the way to go? We had the uh, Viam Zanzi campaign for a year or two now, but short left was really a very popular campaign and many people asked for it and now we're bringing it back and part of it addresses uh, exactly the point that you made how affordable is South Africa now we know we're a value for money destination for overseas tourists but we want more South Africans to travel to enjoy South Africa because it is also creating jobs it is a huge injection into our economy and uh, Part of the campaign will be affordable packages. We're partnering with uh, Mango Airlines, for instance, with STA Travel, and with lots of uh, of product owners all over the country, in the provinces. Mm. In one of the provinces with South African National Parks to make the parks more affordable and accessible for our people. And if they go on the website, it became live at 12 o'clock last night, they will see packages for less than a thousand rand, less than 2,000 rand, and that's what we bring to people. Yeah, that is fantastic, because I think that'll make South Africans very, very happy to be able to afford to see their own country, because it is magnificent to see. I mean, we saw the, an increase of international arrivals last year of 10.2 percent. That is incredible. It is incredible. As a destination, we are doing so well. I've just returned from the United Nations World Tourism Organization and I must say we are as a destination outperforming all our competitors and it's do good that we're doing well but the backbone of a tourism industry is its domestic tourism and at any given time 70% of tourists in our country are South Africans. Last year we had just over 12 million South Africans traveling in our country and that contributed over a hundred billion rand to our state fiscus. And that's what we need in this country. Yeah. I mean, that, that's now we're talking jobs. We're talking big money now. This is this is really making a huge influence to our GDP. Let's talk about water uh, because that is a major theme this year. You're focusing in on water and tourism. Why? Um, the international theme this year uh, for tourism focuses on water and we thought uh, it's a good idea that in South Africa we also put the focus on water and I know that you're going to interview some of our people from the department later on and they will tell you some of what we are investing in for instance I think our dams in South Africa are a totally underutilized resource for tourism and we're investing in some lodges uh, next to the dams where people can come and enjoy other facilities there uh, so it's good that we are starting to utilize what we have and not always using. Some events that are planned for this coming September? Yes, uh, lots of interesting events. Uh, it, obviously it will be a media campaign and part of it for instance the young people all know Dr. Malinga yes. uh, and he will be taking people to interesting places all over the country. There will be a media focus on that and we will also bring some of the lesser known products to people's attention. We have so much to be proud of in this country and tourism wise we are doing so well. Mm. But uh, let's also, uh, we should know that on the rest of the continent, people know that uh, they should improve their game, so we should up our game. Yeah, of course. I mean, because at the end of the day, we are seen as a big continent and, uh, and we, we, we are on that tip of Africa and we need to have a good reputation. Having said that, and very quickly before I wrap that interview, I mean, we're looking at the currency now, sitting at the levels that it is. 1025, uh, what was it against the pound? Was I, I don't want to cause, I'm not in studio, so I don't actually know the exact figures, but it is ridiculous. I mean, we're sitting at 15, 16 to the pound. Um, 
this must be having a great effect on tourists wanting to come to South Africa. Obviously, over the short term, it does have an influence. But we've been very careful over the years not to make that a permanent part of our marketing campaign because it always turns on you. It always works against you at some stage. But over the short term, it's a benefit. And obviously, then, uh, then it's good for us. Yeah, yeah. Good for us, but not for those that are traveling overseas. So there you go. That's the message. Travel locally and spend your rents. Thank you so very much very much minister good luck with the month ahead i know it's a busy one for you thank you we want people to take a short lift and i think it's great that we have the campaign back yeah me too i think it's wonderful i remember being there at the launch of the very very first short lift and here we are at the second short lift and we'll talk more about that on morning life uh, as uh, as and when that campaign develops so you heard dr malinga is the tourism ambassador he is going to be our guest here on morning life so we'll be chatting to him a little bit later on as well